Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prem and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this kind of car animations in Blender easily. So before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.4.1, nice. So first of all, let's import our car model from Blender Kit. And by the way, Blender Kit is free to download where you can get thousands of models, textures, HDRS and everything. So here I will go to this Blender Kit. So here I got the Blender Kit, right? So from here also we can do that search. So here I will search as car and enter. So here I will select this car model. Just click on that image and it will be loaded here. So here you can see we got our car model, right? So here we need to have this body separate and this wheel separate. So let's say, so here these wheels are attached. So we need to separate them. And I think this body is single. Okay. So first let's select this wheel. Press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. And let's close this one. And press EA to select all the wheels. So here I will be selecting only this wheel. So first mode is wireframe. And let's select this wheel here. Okay. Now press P on the keyboard and separate it by selection and now if i exit this now you can see we got this wheel separated so now these two wheels are attached and these two wheels are attached so it's fine and this body is separate and everything is controlled by this empty so here you can see we can control the car by using that empty so now let's animate the wheel so first select the wheels and make sure the pivot point is at the center of the wheels so currently we can see the cursor or the pivot point is at this point so we need to make it at the center of the wheels so select the wheels, go to this object, set origin, origin to geometry. Now it is at the center and the same thing. So select these wheels, object, set origin, origin to geometry. Okay. So now we need to rotate the wheels. So first select this wheel, come to these item options. So first we need to see in which axis we need to rotate. So we need to rotate in X axis. So let's right click on the X axis and click on this add driver and in object, Let's select the Lamborghini model. So select this model, select the Lamborghini and this type location we need to, we are moving the car in Y axis. So we will be moving this in Y axis, right? So we need to set that in Y axis. So right click edit driver and here we need to select the Y location. So now if I move this, you can see the wheel will be rotating. So it is rotating in reverse direction. So select the wheel, right click edit driver. So come to this expression here and let's enter where multiply and under bracket type as minus one and close the bracket and hit enter so now select the empty and first let me change this to just randomization okay so if i select the empty and if i move this the wheel will be rotating here okay so if i move there empty the wheels will be rotating nice so now we can apply the same driver to this wheels also. So select the driver or else we can repeat the same. So select this item, come to this X rotation, right click, add driver and select the Lamborghini model and type, change it to Y axis. So change this Y location. And now, okay, this will be moving in reverse. So edit driver location and again we need to change this value here so close this multiplied brackets minus one and close enter so now if we move this car the wheels will be rotating simultaneously nice so now let's create our tunnel here so for that i will be using a plane so go to this my shared plane right click and increase the scaling okay so let's move on to this. So for this plane, I will be adding a road texture and here I will search as a road. Before to that, I will change this to materials. So this is the material option. So change it to materials. And here we got the road material. So from here, I will apply this one. So just click on that and it will be applied onto this plane. So now we can see we got the road material applied, right? So I will bring it here aside and let's build tunnel here so let's close this so for that we'll be using cubes so go to this add mesh select the cube so let's place this here press s and reduce the scaling s z and increase the scaling in z axis
let's make this into single object so select all these cubes here including this one and press ctrl plus j to join them now press tab to edit mode and let's add control loops here control r let's bring it here for, for this also control r and bring it here control r place it here and control r let's place it here now select these faces select this face hold shift key and select all the faces press e and extrude them in x axis okay so that we can get these beams here nice so press tab to exit this edit mode so now we need to add some materials onto this so select this come to this material options and look for concrete so here we got this concrete material so i will select this one and i will apply onto this material so you can see we got that material apply but it is stretched out so we need to go to edit mode let's close this press tab press here to select all the vertices now press u and select this smart view project and hit ok and again exit this edit mode now this will be looking bit better now we need to combine this structure with the road so select this one and select this one also ctrl j so it is a single object now now come to this modifier options add modifier and add array modifier so factor x change to 0 and y change to minus 1 so we will be adding this in this way so let's bring it and let's reduce the distance a bit so i think not minus one minus 0.9 yeah i think no still we need to minus 0.89 okay so i think this will work now let's increase the count here so here i will increase the count somewhere around 15 so we got the tunnel ready nice so now let's animate our car so select the empty which is holding our car and press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location so you are on the first frame while doing that so now move to the last frame at 250th frame and let's bring this here okay so let's bring the car here now again press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location so we will be having this animation here moving animation now being selected this keyframe so press ea to select both the keyframes press t and make it linear so that we have that constant speed nice so let's move on to this shading viewport okay so now if I play this, let's bring it here. So now if I play this, we will have our car moving forward. So here this animation is looking jitter because my PC can't handle much of this. So it will be smooth while we render out. Okay. So now we need to create a camera and we need to parent that with the car so that our camera moves along with the car. So further go to this add, come to this camera options. Just click on that. We got a new camera added here. Now press Ctrl Alt 0 to see through the view. Okay. Now press come to this view options and lock this to 3D cursor and camera. Okay. So now we need to parent the empty with camera. So first let's select the empty. So here. So select the empty. And later select the camera. Hold Shift key and select the camera. Now press Ctrl plus P and select this object. So now the camera will follow this car throughout the timeline nice fine so select the camera so be on the first frame so starting i will make this to appear from here so press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location so after 100 frames i will change this to here and let's bring it close to the car and press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location rotation and scale and let's go to the starting frame we need to add location and scale animations for that also i forgot so let it be here press i location rotation and scale animation after 100 frames now again move 100 frames forward like at 200 frames i will let's bring it here close so adjust the camera animation here as you like so let's adjust this camera position here add a keyframe location and rotation at 250th frame let's zoom it out a bit ok and rotate this here a bit like this
So here we got our camera animation along with the car movement nice. So now let's move on to this standard viewport. So before going to that I will save the file. I can't trust my PC. So let's. So now let's move on to this render viewport here. Just click on this render viewport. So currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene. So here I will add the, this world properties. Go to this world properties. Click on this color and we run my texture. So from here we can select any HDRA. So just click on this open and select any HDRA. So you can download free HDRA from Polyheaven. So here I will load one HDRA. So I will load this HDRA here and open. So here we got our light in the scene. So now come to this render settings, render properties, enable ambient occlusion and distance. I will change this to 5 and enable the screen space reflections or refractions also. So if you don't want to have this background visible, just come to this film options and make it transparent. So here I will use the background. So I will keep this. So come to this render settings later. So come to this render settings here. So from here, you can choose the resolution. So currently it is full HD. I will use this to full HD and crop this to render to region. The crop to render region, change this to 30 FPS. You can use whichever FPS you like. Frame start and end 1 to 250 is fine. And output, we need to find a location where we can save these files. So I will select a location here. So here I have selected a location where I can save the output files. So file format, I will change this to JPEG. Okay. So once all this is done, now we'll come to this render properties. So here, render engine, I will be using cycles because the result will be much, much better. And before to that, let's enable. Okay, we can enable motion blur in cycles also. So change this to cycles device, change it to GPU compute. So here you can see the difference as soon as I change it to cycles, we are getting all the shadows and reflections, everything nicely. So if it is an EV, we will miss that out. Okay, so let's change this to cycles, enable GPU compute if available and samples you can set depending upon this mission configuration. So my mission is very low. So I will change this to 32. It's enough. And make sure this denoise option is enabled. Okay. Enable this motion blur here. Just enable it. After that, come to this render option and click on this render animation. So in this way, we can create this car animations in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.